Good morning, Quadcopter 101. And what I got for you today is I want to do a follow on flight of this flying frog. I was kind of impressed with the amount of power it had, but I wasn't impressed with its pit settings. But I went into RC groups and I found some of the guys in there who actually modified the pit settings. And I'm going to try out one of those settings with this flying frog today and flying frog today and see how it does. So let's go for a flight of the flying frog and see if you enjoy this. We're going to fly in an acro again. Okay, we're ready to go and uh, selecting uh, arm and selecting acro. So hope you enjoy this flight. Rise pits. Already I can see it's a lot more maneuverable. Very much more maneuverable. Let's go around the pole here. And coming down. Just trying it out first. Well, needs a little bit of an adjustment there, especially when I'm making hard bank turns here. Let's try to go down between the trees. See how it's maneuverable. Maneuverability is going through these trees. Yeah, I can do it. So yeah, this is much better pit settings than what was, what stock with this. They were just so yeah. <laughs> This one feels better. Um, I'm seeing a lot of blanking on my screen here. I'm not sure if it's my goggles or if it's the quadcopter, but it's, I'm seeing a lot of lines here, and I'm not sure what that's causing that. But yeah, it's flying much better though now. You know, a uh, good resource for you uh, flyers out there that are entering into this hobby, and if you're not aware of it already, is a site called RC Groups, rcgroups.com, RC Groups. Um, if you've got, you know, any startup issues or, or issues with your quadcopter, or if you want to learn more about flying quadcopters or just about any RC aircraft, I highly recommend you visit that site. <laughs> There's, it's a wealth of information for you. Um, you know, it, like I said, you know, I just went in there and found a few guys that already modified their bids for this particular quadcopter, and I just went into beta flight and modified it. And, makes it a much more maneuverable quadcopter now than it was out of the box and that's what the idea of these uh, little micros are is to be able to go in and play with them and adjust them to just so they fly just right like this one <laughs> it's feeling great now it's a great flyer now I don't know what the issue is with the stock pits why you know sometimes I wonder if manufacturers actually fly their quadcopter before they they send them out you know they just or do they just bundle it and hope that you figure it out later? <laughs> that the user will figure it out. Okay, let's see how fast this thing can go with these new pids. <laughs> Going nicely. Again, it's got a little bit of yaw issues in the yaw and hard turns. Uh, I'm going to go try some other pids out. There are some other fellows said, here, try my pids. I'm going to go try them. I am. But yeah. Oh, I haven't tried something yet. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to try a roll. I haven't tried that yet with this little quadcopter yet. Try another roll. Okay. It's rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep on rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> Who sang that song? Oh, Lip Biscuit. I remember them. <laughs> Who remembers them? <laughs> Okay, let's come down between the trees again. Well, between the trees flying. With the flying frog. Yeah, this is a nice little quadcopter. And it's a long flyer, that's its big advantage. This one stays in the air for quite a bit. <laughs> and it's got power. Those 8520s give it some power. They do. Yeah, this still needs a little bit of uh, tuning of the pids. I'll try another setting. <laughs> but again, I'm just showing you that you can modify this and make it a quite different aircraft than it was when it came out of the box. So. Whee! <laughs> Let's go around the net. Yeah, just a little more adjustment on the pids is needed. But it is fun. 
Man, it flies a long time. Okay, I just crashed another micro here recently trying to go through this center section there, <laughs> and I did it. <laughs> that other micro needs its pits tuned too, also, that I was just flying. It was a nice quadcopter, but it definitely needs new pits. My wife's probably getting dizzy right now. Sorry about that, huh? <laughs> Trying to keep an eye on this quadcopter. <laughs> but it's it's flying good. Needs a little more, more tuning though. There you go, folks. The long flying flying frog. Yeah, this is gonna be a popular one, especially for its long flying ability being able to stay up in the air like this, this long. Oh, and there is a crash. My wife's gonna get it for me, disarm it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the propellers are back on again. We should be good to go. Arming and going back to acro, here we go. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's able to take a minor crash like that. I always hoping it would. Okay, going around, around these trees. I'm gonna try to stay in front of us when we go by. Zip around there. <laughs> Good quad cop there. Let's do that close by. Oops, again. again. <laughs> well, all the props are still on it. My, my wife's doing a great job retrieving this for me, folks. I just sit here on my butt. And continue Lazy. Flying. <laughs> okay, here we go again. Back to acro, back to arm, then away we go. Yeah. Oops. Oh, oh. <laughs> What's going on, man? Hold on, my love. My wife's getting a lot of exercise today. <laughs> I think I cut back the throttle too much in that turn. Let's give it another shot. Okay, back to acro and back to arm. Still got power and away we go. Oh no, it's losing its That's power. That's it. Yeah, it's it's batteries down. I'm, I'm not hearing a beep. I thought this had a beeper. Yeah. But where's it at, my love? Where's that? Over there. That's it. The battery's uh, gone kaput. But uh, I thought this had a beeper, but I guess it doesn't. I'll have to check on that. If it does, it does it. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Does it have a beeper? I'll put it here. If it did, I didn't hear it. <laughs> but that was its flight time for today. It's running out of juice, and uh, that's about it, folks. But yeah, adjusting the PIDs, it's much more stable quadcopter. This popped off here. Does that snap on? And we'll find out. Oh, looks like a screw came loose, but I'll fix that later. But again, this is the Flying Frog, folks. Hope you enjoyed this flight uh, with, a, with different PIDs, adjusted PIDs. So, Quadcopter 101, signing out.